Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at present value annuities and we're going to try and find the outstanding balance on a loan. The question that we're going to be looking at is from the November 2018 one. It says SEPO takes out a home loan. Now when the word home loan is used or anything to do with a loan, remember that is a present value annuity. So it takes out this loan over 20 years to buy a house that costs 1.5 in rents. Calculate the monthly installment if the interest is charged at 10.5% per annum compounded monthly. So the first thing that we have to establish is number one that this is a loan therefore it's a present value annuity and it's over 20 years so n is going to be 20 times 12 because these payments are made monthly and the interest here is I equals to 10.5% per annum compound monthly 0 0.1.5 over 12. Okay, so the formula we've already established is the present value formula, which is PV equals to X1 minus I to the minus N all so let's see what information do we have. Well, he's taken this loan for 1.5 million. We are to find monthly installment. So X is outstanding. We need to find the monthly installment. One plus interest rate is 10.5% per annum compound monthly. So that's 0 0.1 or 5, 12. And the number of months or number of payments to be made will be 20 times 12 which is equals to 240 payments. that's minus 240 all over 0 0.15 divided by 12. From here we are going to make x the subject of our equation so we need to cross multiply and make x the subject of the equation so therefore x will be equals to 1.5 million times 0 0.1512 divided by this whole part here on the top which is 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.1512 minus 2 and then 40. So let's put that in our calculator and let's see what we get for our monthly installment. So 1.5 million times 0 0.105 all over 12. And this will be 1 minus. 1 plus 0 0.15 all over 12. And that's to the minus 2 and 40. And let's put the other bracket completing that. So what I have here and what I have in the calculator is basically the same thing. And the amount that I now have is 14,975 grams and 69 cents. That will be 70 cents. So 14,000. 975 grams. 1975 grams, 70 cents. We round off to two decimal places. So that is my monthly storm. So therefore, X is equal to 14,975 grams, 70 cents. Let's look at the next question. In the next question, it says calculate the outstanding balance immediately after the 140 payment. Now, to calculate the outstanding balance on a loan, this is what we are going to be So 7.2.2, we're going to say outstanding balance is going to be equal to A minus F. And N equals to 144. N will be the number of completed payments. Once again, it says calculate the outstanding balance immediately after the 144 payment. 
So therefore, if you look at it carefully, 144 is the number of completed payments. So we're going to calculate the first by using this formula to find the outstanding balance, which is outstanding balance equals to A minus F. Remember, A is a compound interest formula, P into 1 plus I to the N. So P will be the amount of our loan, which was given to us as 1.5 million. to one plus our interest rate is 10.5 percent per annum compound monthly so 0.1.5 12 and the number of completed payments is 114. so let's put that in our calculator so we got 1.5 million into one plus 0.15 all over 12 144 so this now is going to be 5 million 259 thousand 5 million 259 thousand 229 rands and 614 so we're not going to round off now we we'll round off at so that's my A value. So I got the first part done. Now let's find the FV, which is the future value. For future value. So the future value formula is x to 1 plus i to the n minus 1 over i equals 2. Now x will be your monthly installment, and the monthly installment we found was 14,900. 75 rands and 70 cents. and seventy-five rands and 70 cents. One plus the number of interest rate is 10.5% per annum compounded monthly. Number of completed payments n is equal to 144. One all over zero point one five twelve. It's two, and let's put that in the calculator. So here we got fourteen thousand nine hundred and seventy five rands and seventy cents into one plus. 0 0.105 all over 12. You know, 144, number of completed payments all over 0 0.15 all over 12. And this now equals to 4 million 289,000. 302 rands and we got 471. We said we'll round off at the end. So now what we are left to do is to subtract. So therefore, outstanding balance on the loan is equal to once again A minus F B, which will be equal to 5 million. Two hundred and fifty nine thousand two hundred and twenty nine rands six one four minus four million two hundred and eighty nine thousand three hundred and two rands and we said we'll round off at the end. So let's put that in the calculator five million two hundred and fifty nine thousand two hundred and 29 rands 0.614 minus 4,289,302 rands 0.47 This is now equals to 969,000 969,000 
927 rand and 14 cents. So we'll round off now. 14 cents. And that will now be outstanding balance on our loan after 145 payments. Learners, just to quickly recap, this is a question on present value annuities which deals with loans. Learners, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to JR Maths and I'll catch you.